How'd you feel you did today? Uh, felt good out there for the most part. You know, it tightened up a little bit, but you know, as, as we got to going, you know, five on five and stuff, you know, it kind of loosened up and, you know, it feels good right now. What do they have you wearing on your leg? Like an extra padding? Or yeah, something like a football pad, like I'm calling plays out there or something, like I'm <laughs> Drew Brees somebody. You know, kind of uncomfortable, but I know it's for the best. You know, so I'm going to play with him until he, you know, this thing heal up all the way. Marcus, you're a guy who doesn't like to come out of games when you're healthy. How hard has it been to have to watch these games from the back? Very, very frustrating. Knowing that you can't do nothing about it, you know, all you can do is root for your team and, you know, um, uplift them. But it's very frustrating as a competitor to sit on the sideline and can't do nothing about it. You know, I hate it. You know, I hate it. You know, it's a game of injuries and you know it happened, but, you know, I hate it. So, how, much, how much longer do you think before they'll, let, they'll clear you to go out there and back in the game? Uh, so I'm thinking tomorrow. You know, I'll practice. You know, I'm see how I feel after, you know, I do a little ice, you know, icing and, you know, um, massaging and stuff and see how it feels after that. And I'm thinking tomorrow. You know, I'm anxious to get back out there. But, you know, um, you know I'm going to go with doctors say, though, because they know best. But I, I hope it's tomorrow. Do you think it can go full board tomorrow, like a full, you know, 30 plus minutes? Uh, I mean, that depends on doc, you know, and the medical staff and, you know, Pete. You know, uh, I would like to, you know, but. You know, it's in their hands right now. You know, they, they know what's best for me right now. How did Marcus look today? Oh, okay, but he's going to be rusty. Uh, you know, based on being out for so long and then getting into some live competition, you know, he's going to be a little rusty. Uh, you know, but the deal for him is playing against movement, getting contact. Uh, so he's right where he, where he is when you're off that long, when you can't really run because you have a lower extremity uh, injury. Where do you think you've missed him the most on the court? Well, you know, he's young, but he's a veteran. Excuse me. And even having only a couple years on his belt, he still has the savvy of an NBA aggressive player. And you miss that uh, on the floor that you need in some crunch time situations uh, because he can make a play out of a dead play. And uh, he has the kind of tenacity that perhaps he can be a little bit more forceful on the floor and get uh, calls here or there or get guys uh, thinking a different way when he's on the floor. Uh, so you miss that what he has. Although he's a young guy for our team, but he, in his status in the NBA, he's a little bit of a veteran guy for our basketball team.